Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited for today's video because I'm bringing you a tip that I honestly feel like it's a game changer when it comes to makeup. If you follow me on Instagram then last week I went to the Bobbi Brown Foundation Factory and while I was there one of their employees was just going on about color corrector and how you really need it in your makeup routine because it's kind of like a primer for concealer the same way you have primer for your eyeshadow and primer for your foundation. And he said that there was a chart that if you know your Bobbi Brown foundation shade then you should know your your color corrector. I couldn't find the chart he was talking about so I asked one of the other employees and she was like I don't know what you're talking about either but I'll be right back. She came back and she was like we're gonna have you meet with one of our pro makeup artists. They had makeup artists on the set because they were also filming with some other influencers there so I sat down with her and her name is I'll have a pop up here. Her Instagram name is Beauty by So Ann and her name is Kim So Ann. Hopefully I'm saying your last name correctly there. First of all sweetheart, wonderful woman. I was very nice having this encounter there with her. But she taught me a little pro tip there that I'm going to show you guys in today's video. And yeah, because I've kind of lost track of where this intro is just going, let's just get right into it. So to see just how effective this tip actually is, I'm going to do one side of my face how I normally would, which is just with concealer. If you guys are new here, I've actually been doing my concealer under my foundation uh, for you know past few months there so i'm gonna keep well you'll see how it all plays out there but i'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer first and then to just blend that out oh i guess i should also mention i already have primer on my face if you don't show yourself putting it on sometimes people just assume you're not wearing it but i'm gonna go ahead and blend out this side of my eye and now for the pro tip. So this is the Bobbi Brown Color Corrector in Very Deep Bis. You see how even though it's a color corrector, it's still kind of flesh tony-ish. You know how some people use color correctors that are straight up, you know, red, orange, peach. You see how it still kind of has that, you know, skinnish look to it. So I'm gonna take the color corrector on this side of my face with this Anastasia A24 brush and I'm going to apply it kind of like you would, you know, concealer first with the brush and then further blend her in and kind of warm her up there with my finger. And you know how the first employee said that color corrector is kind of like a primer for a concealer? Yeah, we're not gonna do that. What we're going to do is take a cream foundation stick that is your foundation shade. This one is the Bobbi Brown one in Cool Almond. The liquid Bobbi Brown foundation for skin longwear I wear is Cool Almond. So I'm wearing the same shade in the foundation stick. And then you're gonna take that and just kind of go over the color corrector to kind of blend it in more with your skin as so now is when you would go in with foundation which i'm about to do but i just wanted to show you first you see how even though i used a concealer that is technically lighter in color this side of my face is brighter it just you know it, it looks more youthful more picked up there on that side of my face but those two products i am all the way here for it i didn't ask her about concealer on you know how some people put concealer here? I didn't ask her about that. I'll do that. But um, I just wanted to show you guys that there. Like this side of my face still looks a little bit duller compared to this side, which looks like, you know, <laughs> I just got like a whole new filler of filler. Don't know what I mean. Oh, I also contour under foundation as well. But once I do both of those then I can go in with my foundation and if you saw my last video it is the Estee Lauder double wear powder foundation that I've been wearing and I'm just going to apply my foundation uh obviously you know leaving that or leaving this area of my face alone now you're probably wondering how do you set that she said it normally just you know powder dust 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 under the eye today I am baking because you know I wanted to but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then brush this off and we can get you know a final look at this so that is it for my face I just feel like this side of my face is more seamless it just blends in better because you know I didn't have to technically use products that were so much lighter but I still get the same if not better effect there it's just more lifted on that side of my face I I am all the way here for it but this is not just you know me shoving Bobbi Brown down your face for 10 minutes however the color corrector I would most 
certainly recommend if you want to try this tip to get this color correct obviously you can try it with any color corrector that you have but i just really like this one because like i said it's more of a uh, skin tone-ish color corrector where it still has what it needs to be a color corrector to correct on your face but it's not you know flat out like red lipstick or you know peach or anything like that and shout out to them for having that many shades of color corrector because this is the last one very deep bisque um although i don't think they have this shade on sephora's website i had to order this from macy's so most certainly would recommend the color corrector and i would recommend the foundation stick too but i don't think you need to have this exact foundation stick for this to work for you i just think you need a cream product that's your foundation shade because remember we're not going with lighter we're going for a cream product that is your face skin tone so like i said in the liquid foundation i wear cool almond so the foundation stick is also cool almond if you don't want to you know purchase this foundation stick if you have any cream foundation stick that's your foundation shade i feel like it'll work the same there if you have oily skin make sure you set your face that's a whole lot of cream there on your face but other than that i am all the way here for it this is what you guys will be seeing in videos moving forward so I want to do this video showing you guys the actual tip. I wanted to do this video shouting Kim out because this is who I learned it from. Like I said, she is a pro makeup artist, but she also has a YouTube channel, which I will link in the description down below. So for my, you know, 35 and up, actually, I think she might say she's like 40 and up, but basically for my more mature viewers there who are not really here for the, you know, full face Instagram, you know batty look she also has a youtube where she you know does videos and shows tips and stuff like that for people in that age range and even if you're not in that age age range speak please um make sure you go check out her youtube channel because i'm sure she'll be dropping you know gems like this and even more things that we can learn from so that'll be in the description down below i hope you guys you know like this tip because i'm telling y'all i am here for it i like it look just just one one last second to look at it tip concealer tip concealer so um i hope you guys liked seeing this tip let me know if you guys try this out how you like it but that's pretty much it so make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye my head wrap is weighing down my head today Ooh. Excuse me, rude. Oh, I also wanted to mention that I feel like you can tone it up or tone it down with the color corrector. Some might say I used quite a bit. I did, you know, six swipes in the pan and I still don't feel like it looks that crazy on my eye. So you could kind of go in a little bit more if you wanted to and you could also pull it back. So I also like that about that as well. I forgot to say that in my little wrap up there.